Hello, my name is Igor Sandman. I'm a pixel artist. I make a pixel art piece every day. Uh, the topic on pixel dailies is not up yet, so I decided to make a fan art of Vatoms because I'm, I've been watching that lately and I really enjoy it. Since I'm inspired by it, I thought, why not? So that's what I'm going to paint today. Um, I'm going to use this as a um, composition reference. I will change the pose and I'm going to use this as a reference for uh, the design. Uh, also, I've got a series of questions from Kevin Fu on YouTube. I will come to that in a second. First, I would like to get something uh, on the canvas to be more confident in what I do, because it's hard to talk and paint at the same time. So as soon as I've got something on a canvas, I will get back to your questions, Kevin. Yesterday I recorded my video and uh, my graphic card crashed. It happens very often, which is why I didn't post a video yesterday. So I will have to answer Kevin's question again. But it's okay, I don't mind. Let's see. Uh, I should probably make the character first and then get to this later. Otherwise, I might be stuck with proportions. So let's make the character. Uh, maybe I will make him, give him a very uh, light skin tone. Uh, let's see. Still don't know the color I want for the air. Well, I know I want a blue, but it might be better with a teal color. I don't know. I will use this one and I might come back later. This seems pretty close to the original. Yeah, then I will use this very light color for my lighting. Mm, let's see. I think he has blue eyes, right? I'll give him blue eyes. Yep, kind of like this. I will need uh, a color for the, the shadow. This is nice actually, so I'm going to use that. Like this, and I will indicate uh, the year. He's already recognizable, which is great. I like it. We'll try and keep it simple. What if I use this as my maybe black? Nah, this was working okay. All right, let's save that. So let's add some. Uh, Let's give him a, a pose and, well, a body and a pose. Let me see. Uh, yeah, it will be, I think, I will try and have him. Uh, 
leaning forward and sitting on on this on the ledge of his uh, cockpit but it might not be I might not be able to do it well I, I will get something that works but I n I'm not sure I will be able to pull this, o this off because uh, he needs to be oh yeah I was thinking he needs to put to rest his feet on something and there is this this handle right here I know I will be able to use that all right and then We'll come from here to here. Yeah. This is nice. So yeah, we'll have a, a brown color here. And I can probably use that to separate the, the two. Let's see. All right, so uh, the design of the character is, uh, is in an, at an angle that's not easy to, to visualize the design, but um, yeah, I will try to figure it out. I will make some stuff up if I need to. When I'm making a fan art, a fan art I'm not too, too worried about making it very close to the original. I don't care, really. So I know I will have a shoulder pad there. And another one here. And then he has some kind of straps right there. This is nice. Uh, he will have well, I'm not going to use that. But then the knees, is that's important. I need to represent the fact that there is this thing. Like this. And I should probably start to bring some lighting to this. Otherwise it won't read very well. I need it to be clear. Is this too bright? Probably. I will. I will need to separate the the legs a little bit because. They don't read right. Like this. This is better. So he's got brown boots. Something like that. 
I think it works like this. Um, let's add some lighting to this. This is nice. All right, so now I can, uh, let's see. Kind of want to have his hand here, holding, holding a gun. I will use black for the gun. If I have my gun there, I need probably need to to make sure everything reads. I will use a darker color for this. this reading I don't think it reads well um, this is better but now all right and then I can use this All right, now it, it now we read it as a as a hand. Before it was a bit weird. So I will indicate another hand right here. This is probably enough. I'm already going very far in the, in the details, I know, but uh, all right. Uh, let's get to the questions. After I read them, after I read them, I will start working on the background. So Kevin Fu on, on YouTube is asking a series of questions. Well, first, not really a question, but you were asking about the bus sound that you can hear, you can probably hear it now. That's actually the fan of my uh, laptop. <coughs> right now, I've got a microphone r right here, uh, laying on, a, on the desk, right in front of my computer, and it's picking up a lot of the, of the sound in the room. It's not a perfect, uh, set up for my microphone but I don't have anything else so yeah that's the reason why uh, it might change one day I might be able to buy a better setup I would like to but it will depend right now uh, I think it would be a bit overkill to buy something for this because when I look at the views that I get for these videos it might not be it's not very popular not that I'm really needed to be popular but if I if I am to buy more stuff to, for this, I will do it when it's uh, when a lot of people are watching. I'm doing two things at the same time here, trying to fix this, fix this, but I should work on the background. So let's get to the questions, the real questions. Do you have any thoughts, advice on this ring pixel gradients? You might have noticed that I very rarely use this ring. I'm not a fan actually. I don't I don't think it looks good. It can be used properly. Well, it's not that I I don't like it. It's just that I don't picture it as part of my style. I very rarely use that because it creates a noise a noisy kind of look and that's not really my thing. I love uh, very contrasty things like this. 
I could go, come here and uh, indicate that this is round by adding this kind of dithering, but uh, that's not my style. I like very strong contrasty areas like that. I like big patches, big um, pixel clusters of colors, of color. That's my style. So, yeah, I couldn't really recommend anything. I'm not the best person to talk about dithering since I use it so so little. So yeah, I'm not sure I can really help you there. One thing I notice is uh, if it's used too much everywhere on a picture, it tends to make everything looks blur look blurry and noisy. So I wouldn't recommend it. Even if you want to use it, I would recommend using it uh, sparingly, only where you need it. Like either to indicate a, a very round shape, a very uh, smooth shape, if you want a, a, a nice gradient. Because this one here could be interpreted as a box, right? Because it's, there's a strong definition between, uh, a, a strong separation between light and shadow. So is it, this could be an angle. It's not, but uh, it, it could be. So you might argue that it's better if I dither this, but yeah, it's a matter of choice. Can also be used to uh, uh, to uh, describe uh, texture. So yeah, I'm not sure I can say much about dithering. Let me try and get the silhouette of this guy because it's not an easy one to make. Let's see, I will use this as my light. Oh yeah, it should be open. So I will have I'm going to use black, but I need to be careful because there's the gun in front. I will not use black then. Uh, I will get back to your questions, but I need to think. Uh, what can I use? The dark brown won't work. I'm tempted to use black, really. So I'm, I will make sure... I will make sure later that the gun is reading properly. This will not be easy. I'm probably doing this the wrong way. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to make it work. Mm. Let's see. So there is this area which he will be uh, standing on. Well, his foot, his feet are going to rest. At least this foot is going to rest on that handle. That's something. Then I need this. Oops. Come on. It's going to be difficult, right? It's not going to be easy. Let's try anyway. I will push it until it... Wrong button. I will push it until it works. I think I need to worry, worry about the silhouette first. I'm going too fast into the lighting. Let's see. What I really need is this right here, and it's uh, 
this color or maybe I should make it gray yeah gray is better I'm gonna use a great a big canvas and shrink it later Right, that's a little bit better. Let's indicate the, the volume. I probably can use something like this to indicate some of the volume, and then this and then the, the seat. see I just used some dithering <laughs> I don't know I was inspired by this one this is to indicate that it's going to in, uh, progressively going into the shadow It's not very, it's not really working, is it? Hmm. Let's get to the questions. Uh, do you have any advice on color selection? Usually I pick a base color and work with it for the shadow and the highlight and the lighting, but it somehow, somehow looks odd or not good. Uh, I've, I've, uh, I've made a video on how I use colors. If you want to check it out, it's my uh, Ponyo video. If you, if you look up on, uh, if you type uh, San, Igor Sandman in Ponyo, you will find my video, or if you look in my channel. Um, but uh, to summarize what I said there really quickly, what I do is I pick a base color like this green. And then I will go pick a, a darker color and a lighter color. And then most of the time I will pick a very dark version of it. And uh, what's important when I pick them is to vary, not vary the lighting alone. I try to vary the, the hue slightly and especially the saturation. If you look at this one, uh, the saturation is 46, then it's 6, uh, 60, uh, 40, uh, 64, then 81. You see it's moving a lot, it's moving. Uh, you don't have, re especially, you don't especially need to go from uh, saturated to desaturated or the other way around, but at least it's have some variation in it to, so it doesn't look like metal. Everything will look like uh, metal or velvet or silk those are the materials that tend to have the same kind of a saturation from dark to light to light and i will do that for i would do that for all of my base color then i would add a, a brown and a skin color that's how i do it but if you want more detail go to my ponyo video uh, and then what happens when you reach 365 pixels does the world reach maximum pixel art capacity? You know what? Uh, I think uh, there will be a 366, and probably more than that, because uh, I'm so used to it now that I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. So yeah, the world won't end. It won't reach maximum pixel art capacity either. So yeah, I'll keep doing it.
All right, this is getting somewhere slowly. So I think I answered all, your, all of your questions. This ring, color selection, and what happens after I'm finished with my challenge. If you have more questions, don't hesitate to ask, all right? I will answer them. At least when my graphic card doesn't crash. I don't know what's happening with my graphic card. It keeps crashing very often. All right, I need to move on with this uh, design because uh, I'm, st I'm stalling because I can't find how to make it work. I'm adding random details, hope hoping for, hoping I can find something to, to make it work, but All right, so I don't know what to do here because I, I went for green, uh, for, for brown in the background, but the boots are brown too, so I don't know how to make it uh, read. Probably a lighter color then. Then maybe this. All right. Let's make it longer. All right, it works. The thing is, I'm pretty sure this entire thing needs to be further to the right for it to work. Trying to indicate a pattern on like this kind of pattern here. I think it's working. All right, so it's time to add some elements to the to the um, mecha that will make it read as a as a mech. Let's see. If I use this. Let's do it this way. This is nice. And then there is uh, something right here. I will bring another light, another lighting color. So there is this thing right here. All right. Here I would use some black because there's a stronger <clears throat> indication of volume right there. Like this, this is nice. I can also add some sheen to this. Maybe just one dot. Like so. 
and I'm not happy with the shape of this I'd rather have it look like this like this all right just indicating some details it's not really here on the design but all right so what's next there's an arm and then the forearm and a big that's probably too big I'm indicating the detail. The the holes that are leaving that I'm leaving there are just random things. And then the hand is not gonna be easy I think. Because it's big. The bigger it is the more accurate I need to be. think this reads as a hand but I'm not sure I don't want to spend too much time on the on the mecha itself but still it's an important part of the design so I should I, I think the arm is too big I will paint the rest of the body and then come back to this but I'm pretty sure I will uh, change that so legs So now it's becoming obvious that this this needs to go. Alright, we'll use some black here to indicate a pelvis. Should probably probably use it here too, right? Everything is in one color, which is making it hard for me to paint. I 
so this is the green that I was using so let's add a, a knee pad right here and right here I think adding the knee pad make it look make it look even more like human legs right now they are too they are looking too much like human legs in my opinion at least I need to try and break it down and make it look more mechanic mechanical And I should probably cheat a little bit with the design. I'm adding something here that's not on the design. I'm I'm doing that in order to to show that it's not a human leg. I'm adding panel lines. Not sure about that one. but I can do it here now now it's looking more like um, a mechanical thing I can always try and add some lighting still I'm going to use this gray here, but uh, I'm not sure. It seems to be working. Let's bring it lower. Yeah, it's working, and I think I can ex I can exaggerate the size of the of the feet, especially this one which is uh, sideways but slightly sideways at least this might be too much but no I don't think so it's helping with uh, the, the balance of this so I will do the same on that one like so Right. I will indicate a hand right here. And I will paint a hand on this side, roughly in the same spot. And again, this won't be easy, but uh, let's try and yeah, this reads as this reads as a, a fist, so it's okay. Let's use that. Yeah, it's nice. I think it's, it works, which is what matters in the end. Maybe I can bring this line further to the right. This is better. Uh, I 
kind of need to bring the knees higher. And this is going too far to the right. I keep adding uh, indication of detail. It's working okay. Fixing the perspective. it's nice the one thing that I don't like at all is this area and I think I need to change it completely I will do it without the character so I'm sure it works maybe I should just bring plain white to this it's a color that I don't that I don't have yet so I can do that probably be able to use it here maybe on the legs but then let's try with a blue shadow I think that's the best thing I can do. And this blue right here. Let's try changing the blue to this brown. Yeah, it's better. I like it. What I want to do is let's see. There's a slight problem of balance right now. I think I need to bring this leg this leg further to to the right. Like this. Now I'm, I'm losing the hand a little bit. I need to find a way to define it again. This is fine. Let me check the time. 40 minutes, it's okay. That's my, I'm always done here, so that's my usual uh, timing. So maybe I should try and add some uh, some uh, white to the rest of the the machine there is some on the on the legs and on the on the arms but i don't know i like this this is looking nice but maybe it would look even nicer if i not with that yeah it's nice i will i might come back to what i just did but i would like to get some uh to make it darker see if it works i think it's better like this and then i can use white to indicate uh, highlights just 
like this actually. I will need a bit of shadow here and here. All right, and then the legs. Uh, I really like that. Let's try anyway. I will try on another version, on another copy. So I would have white here, this here, and this brown. And I'm pretty sure this won't work, but let's try. Yeah, it's not ready. Prefer this. What I can do though is add some some suggestion of this this color, like create a line or something. This is nice. So I will do it on the other side as well. Great, I like it. Let's bring some more shadow to this side. It's looking really cool, I like it. And now that I look at it, the gun doesn't read as a gun anymore. Let's flatten it, let's be brave. So the hand is starting to read now. I don't know, I think I should get rid of that and this and maybe use that instead. It reads better like this and I can exaggerate the, the brown thing here and make it more well, if it works. Not sure because um, maybe if I do this, Trying to find places where I can use the the brown, the light brown. I kind of want to make the character pop because right now it's not really clear. And the gun, I can try and indicate some shape to it, like this. I want to make sure it doesn't read like a hole, since it's the same. It it is the same color as the background. But it seems to be working.
It's nice. So this is already white. I thought it was. Uh, it looks darker because probably because of all the dark around. Probably this brown here. Anyways, hmm. let's try and add some gray here to indicate something going on on the side. Maybe I need to add it completely to the to the side like this. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, let's add Yeah, I like that. And one of them is going to be white. It's cool. I like it. I like this dude. Frankly, if you haven't seen this anime, you should watch it. It's great. It's super deep. I'm talking about the original version, the one from 82, 1982. It's really great. I'm indicating a light on the side just like like I did here. And if I could find the same saturation as this, maybe here. Can do that. Is there anything I should add? maybe bring some more light to the hand and I've got a hand here that's a bit dark well I think it's enough really cool I like it all right well that's it for today I guess uh, hopefully tomorrow the, the topic for pixel daily will pixel dailies will come earlier uh, anyways I'll see you all tomorrow bye bye